make it very, very long. Um, one excerpt that I will read is after, because I'm sure everybody know all about the scam. It's right on the front of the book. But after it happened, my sister, Janet Finnock, who's in the audience, uh, <laughs> we and, and our children, we went back to Jamaica. And this was my first time back in Jamaica after 41 years. Mm. Yes. So I went, we went back to Jamaica and we went to Duns River Falls. I'd been, I'd gone to Duns River Falls when I was 12 years old. And that was just such a fun time. And we went back to Duns River Falls and it was really great to be there with my sister and my daughter and my nephew. And in the book, I'm just going to read this, this excerpt from, from when I went to Duns River Falls. Um, I'd climbed and now I'm at the top and I had looked at going to Duns River Fall as kind of a pil pilgrimage because after, when we went to Duns River Fall, the thing had just happened and I was still pretty raw and I was just so happy to be with my, my family and have the opportunity to do, to do, to get to the top. So I write, I reached the top feeling a surge of inspiration and hope. I take in the sweeping view of droves of hand-holding tourists meandering under the shade of the lush green vegetation. The memory of that day on the class trip plays like another movie reel in my head and I can almost see her. 12-year-old me, her two-piece eggshell colored bathing suit with the scalloped edges moves along the, among the wet bodies. She's giggling and pushing against the water the lost young girl who yearned to belong, who was so desperate for her parents and their affection that she prayed to their pictures. The sensitive girl with a big heart who tried to save animals from getting slaughtered. I wish I could go back in time to that sunny day in the 1970s and climb up these falls with my 12 year old self to take her hand in mine to stand with her, to whisper secrets that she will need to carry in her soul like a shield. I would say, Donna, you are stronger and braver than anything you will ever encounter. Never forget that the strength is in the stumble. It is in the fall. It is in the getting back up. You will go through holy hell before you figure out who you really are and when you stopped being you. You are enough. Sweetheart, you have always been and always will be. You do not have to accept brokenness because it makes your brokenness feel less broken. Before you try to fix others, look inside and make sure that you are not really trying to fix yourself. Keep mama's words close to you because you are indeed special. Mm. 